Uh, the Senate bill has added a, a couple of new requirements that people who don't have documents showing uh, their domicile or their age, identity, naturalization, things like that, they have to fill out another, another form and then they have to provide those if they don't have those documents with them today to show us as supervisors of the checklist when we're registering new voters. They have to assert that and they have to sign an affidavit to that effect. Then they can go ahead and vote anyway um, and they have to bring documentation within 10 days to the clerk's office here in Concord. Uh, I know how uh, important it is to vote and I feel it's a privilege to vote and it's a uh, tremendous freedom to be able to do that in this great country of ours. So as I was putting these signs together it was uh, I was thinking of all these things and uh, how proud I am of my daughter. <coughs> I'll probably am with my daughter and the passion she has for education and for children uh, in the community. And I'm very proud to be here supporting her. You're making a statement when you vote. And you make a statement as to the, the importance of the whole electoral process that we have here. It's a statement about democracy. Your vote always counts. Usually, your vote isn't the difference between somebody winning or losing. But here in a, in a award like this where, where there's not going to be a big turnout and there are a number of contested seats uh, in, in, various, in, in various capacities, one or two votes could make a huge difference. So, but it's a symbolic act, but it also can be a very important act in, in, these, in these close, close races.